point slope form. So what if you had a plane axis like the one shown here and you had a point, let's call this point x1 comma y1. Now this isn't enough to find the equation for a line, but what if we also had this slope? We knew that this slope was m. Well then we could find, we could use our slope m to find another point. And then we could use the slope again, and we could find another point. And at that point, we would actually have a line. So using a single point and the slope, we can actually find the equation for a line. To do that, we use point-slope form of a linear equation. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So point-slope form of a linear equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we would plug in our point x1 comma y1, and then we would solve for y if we wanted it in slope-intercept form, or we could solve to put it in standard form. But all we need is one point and the slope. So let's look at some examples. So let's say we have a slope of 2 and the point 3 comma negative 1. I'm going to leave our formula up over here just so we can keep an eye on it. So let's plug our values into our formula. First we start with y and then we subtract y1. y sub 1 is going to be our y value from our point, and that's going to be negative 1. So we subtract negative 1, and then we set that equal to our slope. Here it says m is equal to 2, so our slope is going to be 2. And then we multiply by x, and then we subtract x1 x sub 1 is going to be our x value, which is going to be this here, so we subtract 3. So we end up with y minus negative 1 is equal to 2 times x minus 3. So let's see if we can simplify this. On this side, we're going to have y plus 1 is equal to... So if we distribute the 2 over here, it will be 2 times x is going to be 2x. 2 times negative 3 is going to be negative 6. And now let's put this in slope-intercept form. So let's solve for y. We're going to get y is equal to, so let's subtract 1, 2x, negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. So our equation in slope-intercept form is y equals 2x minus 7. And this we can easily graph. If we draw a plane axis, our y-intercept is going to be negative 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then our slope is going to be 2, so let's put some points there. So we're going to start here, and then we go up 2 over 1. Our next point will be here, up 2 over 1, and then we can draw a line. So our line is going to look something like that. So just with a single point and the slope, we were able to determine the slope-intercept form of our linear equation. Now what if we were given the two points 4 comma 7 and 5 comma 1. How could we find the equation? Well, first we need to solve for our slope, so let's do that. We have m is equal to, well, we know this is going to be change in y over change in x, so what is our change in y? It's going to be the difference of our two y values, so 1 minus 7, and then we divide by the 
difference between our two x values, 5 minus 4. So 1 minus 7 is negative 6, 5 minus 4 is 1, so our slope is going to be negative 6. So now we have a slope and two points, so we can actually use point-slope form to solve for this equation. Let's use this second point here, 5 comma 1, because it seems to have simpler numbers. Well, we will get the same answer both ways. So y minus our y value is going to be 1, and then we set that equal to our slope, which is negative 6, and then multiply by x minus our x value, which is 5. So now we can distribute all this and simplify. So we're going to have y minus 1 is equal to, and let's distribute this negative 6, it's going to be negative 6x, and then negative 6 times negative 5 is going to be 30. So now the only thing left to do is add 1 on both sides, and our final answer in slope-intercept form is going to be y is equal to negative 6x plus 31. Why don't we also put this in standard form? We can add 6x on both sides, and standard form will be 6x plus y is equal to 31. So now we have both forms of our linear equation just from two points. So now you know how to use the point-slope form of a linear equation.